Yo guys, what's up? It's Fighter Pilot here, and today I'm going to be talking about my experience with the Destiny 2 beta and how I feel like the game is going to progress in the official version, not necessarily just the beta version. So just some general thoughts, I am trying to stay out of all the controversy surrounding this game, like, for example, the devs' choices, especially when it's lacking of the dedicated servers and not having dedicated servers, and overall their past experience with Destiny 1 and how they kind of cut corners and did stuff. I'm going to stay out of all of that. If you want to look at some interesting videos on this, B. Dobbins does a great show and I would totally recommend you watch this. He kind of goes in depth and exposes, hashtag devs exposed, the developers and what they do and kind of some of the behind things. But anyway, overall I feel like this game was mostly just kind of the same as a first game. The gunplay was similar, every enemy was a bullet sponge, everything was spam rounds as fast as you can. In the PvP mode, it was your other weapons do a lot more damage than your primary, and unless you get headshots, your primary wasn't necessarily the most useful thing ever. Enemies were about the same, they were the same factions, general look. I mean, they had a little bit of a story twist, but other than that, they were pretty much the same. I'm sure the maps are different, but overall, I think it was just kind of a second make of the first game. And this isn't really necessarily a bad thing. If you look at, like, the Halo series, they're pretty much just a copy-paste of the enemies, and the weapons stay the same, and the story changes, and that's really what makes it different, but it's not a bad thing. And when you look at games like Call of Duty, I mean, it still sells well. But moving on, I'm going to talk about the graphics next. Now, honestly, the graphics were just amazing. As I would expect for a AAA title of this caliber, it just pops out. There was amazing colors and effects, and the models looked so smooth, and just everything looked amazing and very visually pleasing. Not that graphics are the sole reason you should buy or play a game. I'm just mentioning this because, A, it is a AAA game, and if you're buying a AAA game and the graphics suck and it's... I'm not talking about graphics in the sense of how the art style is, more so just if it looks good or not. So if your AAA came and your graphics sucked, then I'm probably going to pass up your game. Moving on to the bigger part, which is the story. Honestly, the opening mission looked amazing, and I'm 100% aware that this is probably a marketing tactic, and it was mainly done to appease the audience and get people hooked in, and I'm aware of that. However, it did a nice job at that. The, it was just the best first mission hook I've seen in a while out of a AAA title. It took what you fought for and gave you a sense and meaning for fighting and a worth for your character. In the previous Destiny, it kind of did the same thing where it was like, the world's in trouble, we need you to come help. But in this, it just kind of took the, well, the world's in trouble, we need you to come help and kind of shoved steroids in it and shot it up to the moon and then we were good. It really gave you that hook that you needed to buy the game and keep playing the story. And honestly, I was fully invested. It was just a very immersive experience. Now moving on to the PvP, which is another big aspect of this game, it was pretty much the same as the first game. Now having played Destiny 1 in the PvP missions, the map layout was generally the same. It kind of had the same linear paths with one thing in the middle of the map. So you, sometimes you'd spawn over here and capture this point, and then you'd spawn over there and capture that point. So overall the game mode was the same, the map the layout and design was pretty much similar. There wasn't a whole lot of variation there from the first game, at least from the maps that I was playing during the beta. And like I said earlier, the gunplay was the same, so if you're looking for some kind of different feel, well there's not really a whole lot. Overall, I believe the Destiny 2 beta was a success. They had a good overall plant the feet and understand what the game was going to be. It just gave you the sense of how the story was all going to be laid out and how things were going to change and such. The PvP is just the same as the last one, so I mean, if you liked it, then good, you'll have fun in this game. If you didn't, then I guess maybe you'll want to buy something else for the PvP. But honestly, I was never a true fan of Destiny PvP, mostly because it was on the console and I have a hard time using consoles, but you know, the usual. Graphically, it was just amazing, as I said, and it gave a UI a more modern look and just kind of smoothed it out, made it a little bit more pleasant to look at and use. It's going to be interesting watching the development of this game continue and kind of seeing what the developers choose to do and where they want to progress with it. I'm really excited for that. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.